So today's topic is going to be a graphical method for solving nonlinear systems of equations. Graphical method of solving nonlinear system of equations. Okay. So by the way, um, the materials that you need today is a graph paper. If you have a graph paper, bring it out. If you don't have a graph paper, you can use your regular line paper and um, you can make a graph out of your regular line paper. I will show you how. But you need your calculator as well. I suggest that you, you get a TI-84 calculator and keep it by yourself. It becomes yours. If you cannot do that, that's okay. Use your cell phone calculator. If you have a cell phone, you can just download a, a, a TI-84 app. There's a TI-84 app you can download and then you will use your cell phone and you'll still have the exact same feature that you see on TI-84. You need it. So you need a graph paper, you need a cell phone, you need a pencil, um, you need a ruler or something beside you. And uh, we are going to start by writing um, nonlinear systems of equation and uh, solving them graphically. Okay. So if you have your textbook, you can make reference to page 472. You can make reference to that page. But what we are going to do today is hands on. So you are going to be generating the data and uh, you are going to be plotting the graph. All right. So let me write, you know, just to get started, let me write a um, system of nonlinear equation and uh, we shall use graphical method to solve it. Okay. So let me write the topic. What page did you say, Mr. Gabriel? Yeah, you can make reference to page. 472. Okay, so uh, once again, the topic is graphical method of solving non-linear system of equation. The question once again is, why do we have to do this? We have to do it because non-linear system of equation has a lot of application in the real world. And because of that, it falls into the curriculum of high school mathematics pre-calculus pre precisely for us to figure out how to solve these nonlinear systems of equation using graphical method. Okay, so now we, we know different methods of solving nonlinear systems of equation. One of it was substitution. So today we are going to explore graphical method. All right. So now let's work with an example. Uh, let's work with an example. All right. So example one. So um, the question usually go like this. Solve. See, this is very specific. Solve the equation using graphical method. So now what is the equation that we need to solve? We need to solve um, x, y equal to x minus 1 and y equal to x squared minus x minus 1. x squared minus x minus 1. So these are the two equations that we need to solve. And they say graphically. So once you have graphical method, so um, you have to create your, your generate your data set. You have to generate your data set. So how do you do that? So you can draw your draw your um draw your table and then of course you have your values for x and y you have your values for x and then you generate the corresponding value for y all right so this is uh let's start our x here and this is y equal to x minus one so we can start with for example, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. That should be enough. And then we create the same thing for the other one. We create the same type of table for the second equation. So this is your x, and this is your corresponding value of y. Um, y equal to 
x squared minus x minus 1. And this is a negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so um, next would be to generate your values for y. Okay, so now how do we do it? Can somebody um, give us a suggestion on how to generate the value for y? For, let's start with the first one. For the first one, you plug in x and solve the equation. Okay, who, who said? So plug in x. All that time, um, mention your first name, please. Javier. Okay, Javier, all right, thank you. So what Javier said is, for you to get the value of uh, y, the corresponding value of y, you just have to plug in the value of x. So let's try it for the first one. The first one is x, no, y equal to the first value. The first value is negative 3. So all you do is you do negative 3 um, minus 1. And that gives us negative 3 minus 1 gives us what? Negative 4. So you come here and write negative 4. Okay. So let's do the same thing for the second one. The second equation is y equal to negative 3 whole squared minus bracket negative 3 minus 1. Did you see what I just did? So then this gives us negative 3 is what? Negative 3 squared is what? Use your calculator if you want. Nine. nine. So nine. Then negative times negative is positive. So you have uh, plus 3 minus 1. So that should give us 12 minus 1 is 11. So this gives us 11, positive 11. And you just repeat the process to create the, uh, the, the data set. Speed it up. Use calculator. All right? So I'm going to give you for I'm going to give you um, two minutes for the first one and three minutes for the second one. A total of five minutes for you to uh, fill, it, fill in the gap. Five minutes. So you're working by yourself for five minutes. And then after five minutes, we are going to, you are going to complete the table and then we start the process of plotting the graph. Okay, everybody, five minutes starts right now. So I'm going to come back to you at 9.05. Use calculator so that you make everything fast. You can start. By the way, today's attendance is, is impressive. This is what we want. Every day we should be this number. Almost everybody is here. I'm, I'm so glad. You have uh, two more minutes. If you have uh, completed the first data, let me know. Just say yes. 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 Okay. So, okay, let's move on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, let's move on. So uh, we are, I'm going to ask you to produce the numbers so that uh, we can fill in the gap, and then we take it from there. So I am going to be alternating between uh, the first data set and the second data set. For example, second data set. This is the second one, and of course, this is the first one. OK, so on the first data set, what is the value of x? No, what is the value of y when x is 3? What is the value of y when x is 3? For the first, first one, first one. Do we all agree with that? So why no? I say yes. OK. So uh, what that means is you're just solving y equal to 3 minus 1, which is 2. That, so that's correct. So what is the value of uh, y when x is 0? First one, rather. Negative one. Negative one. Okay, what is the value of y when x is six? Five. Five. Five, okay. So we are done with that. So the second one, I'm going to focus everything on second one now. What is the value of uh, y when x is zero? When x is zero? Is it negative one? It looks correct. So what you are solving is y equal to 0 squared minus 0 minus 1. 0 squared is 0. Minus 0 is 0. And you're left with minus 1. So it is minus 1. OK, how about the value of y when x is negative 1? 1. OK, 
somebody said one so let's check it out you have um when x is negative one you have negative y equal to negative one whole squared minus bracket negative one plus no not plus minus one so negative one whole squared is one negative times negative is positive so you have plus one so one plus one is one minus one so no i'm sorry one plus one is two minus one is one so this should be one is that what you said ranking yes okay good so now what is the value of y when x is three five five do we all agree with that i got two okay so uh let's verify it guess what you do y equal to three squared minus three minus one remember your equation is y equal to x squared minus x minus one all right so you should only worry about putting a parenthesis if the value is negative if the value is, is positive just go ahead and plug it in like that so now three squared is nine nine minus three is six so this is nine minus three minus one which is um five it is five what were we solving so this is five okay so now once again let me demo let me demo how to uh do this uh, using a calculator let me demo sh show you what you are doing is you open a parenthesis you say negative three you close the parenthesis then you do square you do square so and then once you do square then you say minus your regular minus you open up a parenthesis you also say negative three you close your parenthesis and then you type negative one is that correct and then you hit your you hit your um enter key boom what it says error you put a parenthesis instead of a negative one. Oh, i'm sorry so um i need to go back okay so let me start all over i'm sorry thank you for observing the error oh you are right you are right you are right so um so let me repeat thank you negative bracket and parenthesis negative three then close your parenthesis squared minus uh open parenthesis negative three close your parenthesis and then you say minus again and it should be minus one right okay i guess this is correct now okay you see it gave us a what, what we got uh, manually so that's how to do it ladies and gentlemen so now now that we have generated our data we are going to plot the graph so i will go back to the screen so now pull, please pull out your graph paper you can use your graph paper if you don't have a graph paper here's what you do if you do not have a graph paper here's what you do use your regular line paper and then get a straight edge and create a graph paper for yourself so how do you do that just place a ruler on your regular graph paper place a ruler right there and do the following that's what i'm about to do just draw a set of uh, vertical lines so draw a set of vertical lines i hope you're seeing the screen so draw a set of vertical lines just do an approximate you know sp spread it uh, evenly what you're doing now is approximation i mean if you have the time you can measure them but that's not necessary okay so i just created a graph the horizontal line is my horizontal line the vertical line is the one i just uh, drew so now what do you do next so now let's draw the real graph let's draw the real graph um just draw your draw your horizontal line and then pick one point and draw your vertical line to represent your x and y to represent your x and y okay so that's your x and y this is your y axis and this is your x axis of course you can always extend your line so uh this is uh one two three four five it can also be two four five six seven uh maybe we actually need to do two so this is uh two four six 
So uh, the highest value for y, uh, for x is 6. So we can have six values here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6 is somewhere here, 6, 7. And the same thing goes here. So this is your 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative uh, 6. And you have your, the y value scale is supposed to be even. So uh, the same scale, the, the upper side and the lower side. So you have 2, 4, 6. 8, 10, uh, this should actually be 10 here, and the next one, 12, and then 12. So let's start with the first, let's start with the, uh, I, you can start with any of them, but you are going to plot the two graphs in one scale. You are going to plot the two graphs in one scale. So let me use, let me plot the second one and then you plot the first one, okay? So I'm gonna plot the second one. So when Y is, when x is 3, y is 11. When x is 3, which is here, y is 11. 11 is somewhere here. So this is your first point. Next, when, when x is negative 1, y is 1. When x is negative 1, x is... I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Here's the mistake. When, when x is negative 3, y is 11. So this is negative 3 negative 3 here, 11. So that 11 is supposed to be here. Now, when x is negative 2, what is the value of y? When x is negative 2, look at the table you generated. Is it, is it what? 5. 5, OK. So when x is negative 2, y is 5, according to the result he gave us. So this is 5 here. Negative 2 is somewhere here. Then when x is negative 1, y is 1. Negative 1. 1 is somewhere here. When x is 0, y is what? Negative 1. When x is 0, y is negative, uh, negative 1. No, I'm sorry. When x is 0, y is negative 1. Negative 1 is somewhere here. Somewhere here. Negative 1. All right. Then next is when x is what? Next value, please. Help. When x is 1, what is y? When x is 1, what is y? Who did it? The second one? Yeah, when x is 1, what is y? I think I think I got negative 1. Is it negative 1 as well? Okay, let's use negative 1. Okay, when x is 1, y is negative 1. So this is 1, negative 1 is somewhere here. Let's go. What next? When x is um, 2, what is y? 1. 1. Okay, when x is 2, are you sure it is 1? Let's do that one again. When x is 2. So you are going to Are have, you using both tables? I'm using the second one. I'm plotting the second one. I'm, you are going to plot the first one. I'm plotting the second one. So let's do... Oh, I'm sorry. When x is 2. When x is 2, y is 1. All right, let's go. When x is 2, y is 1. So y is somewhere here. When x is uh, 3, y is what? 5. x is 3, y is 5. five this is 4. 5 is somewhere here. When x is um, 4, what is y? When x is 4, what is y? I got 11. Ah. You got 11? OK. Let me write 11. So when x is 4, y is 11. So you have somewhere here. Now, you see, your graph is a parabola. So you just join the point. So I'm going to join the point. Then at this point, you have a curve, a smooth curve. This is a curve. This is not a U, you know? All right? So this is basically how the graph for uh, the second one looks like. So I want you to plot the graph for the first one, plot it on the same scale, and then note the points of intersection. So once you plot it, it's going to give you a straight line and then join your point. And then once you join your point and note the point of intersection. All right. So I'm going to give you how many minutes to plot. I'll give you three minutes. So plot the second one. That means you must have completed the data for the second one. And, and no, I'm sorry, the first one. Plot the first one and then note the point of intersection with the graph of the second one. 
So I'm going to give you five minutes, please. Not five, three, 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 three. You want us to put it on the same graph? Exactly. The same place. Do not create any other scale. Uh, plot it at the same scale, the same coordinate, the same everything. And once you are done, note the point of intersection. So that's what I'm going to ask you. Okay, three minutes is gone. How many people have uh, finished plotting the first one? Say yes, if you did. Yes, yes. Okay, so, so what are the points of intersection? Did you draw the line? So what are the points of intersection? I got zero, negative one, and two, one. Um, you have to get just... Um, just one. No, 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 no. The first point of intersection is what, please? Zero, negative one. Okay, zero, negative one. And then the second point of intersection is what? Two, one. Who said so? Gabriel. Okay, thank you. And that's correct. That's correct. All right? So that's correct. So that's how you uh, graph an equation, nonlinear equation graphically. So from what she said, the point of intersection are going to be zero and negative one. Uh, zero is X and negative one, which is right here. Here, let me put it right here. And then two and negative and one, two and one, two and one is um, two and one somewhere here. So you draw your own line that cuts across that point. And that's your solution. So here is two comma one. And here is, I mean, I want to put it down here, zero comma one. And that's your solution. And you're done. All right. So if for any reason, if, uh, if you did everything right, and you don't have a point of intersection, what that means is that the equation does not have real solution. Let me repeat. Let me repeat. If you, after getting all your data values correctly and you have plotted correctly and there is no point of intersection, what that means is that the equation do not have real solution. That's what it means. As, as soon as it has um, points of intersection, those points of intersection is your solution. So you can definitely say uh, the solution of the given equations is 0, 0,1 and 2, 1. That's it. And you're done. All right. So right now, the time is 9.30. I'm going to give you one more graph to do. This, is, this you are going to do completely by yourself. And you have to finish by the end of the class period. We ha you have about 25 minutes to do one. So I'm just going to give you one. one Mr. On Mr. Okay. Yes. Is it zero negative one or zero positive one? It is, um, it is zero negative one. Sorry. It is zero negative one. That's what, it, uh, okay. that's what this thing here is. It is zero negative one. Gabriel, I hope you got negative one. Okay, it's zero negative one. You see, you can actually see it from the graph. Here is negative one. Positive is on top. We didn't even have a value on the positive side. So it is zero negative one, all right? Now here's the task. I don't want to waste much of your time again. You have 25 minutes. So just use graphical method to um, solve the following system of equations. Use graphical method. So now let me give you the equation to solve. This is going to be super easy. So, but let me, you are going to finish at the end of the class period. And the task is solve. So it is uh, your system of equation you are going to solve is y equal to 2x and y equal to x squared plus 1. Okay, it cannot be any easier than this. 